hello welcome back to Maisie's kitchen sorry guys I've been gone for about two weeks or so I wasn't able to post any videos because I wasn't feeling well so before we get into our cooking I just want to send a shout out to my daughter's brother Justin who is battling brain cancer right now I'm gonna be posting a link he has a GoFundMe set up if you would like to contribute anything to his GoFundMe or to read about Justin's story, please see the link below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. And I just want to say thank you so much for all your support and for you know supporting me to my first milestone of reaching 100 subscribers. That being said, today we're going to be making brown stew and salmon. Today I'm not going to be measuring, but as you can see, I started to season my salmon. I'm just adding black pepper and, you know, my favorite baby, Larry's seasoned salt. We'll just sprinkle just enough to coat both sides of the fish. Black pepper, we don't need to, too much on the, on the skin, just, you know, to keep our flavor going. We're just going to be putting a little bit on the the skin of the fish but the main part is the top so as you can see while we're waiting for our oil to heat you can see my salmon is already seasoned lightly seasoned because I'm still gonna be seasoning my vegetables these are the vegetables I'm gonna be using you can see we have a cut up carrots here we have different kind of peppers red peppers tomato my thyme garlic some hot peppers it, this is not scotch bonnet but it's still hot peppers we have our onion red. orange green pepper we have some scallion and again my carrots so we're going to be cooking those down before we had our fish so over here we have two two pots ready this one's going to be cooking my vegetables and here i'm going to be frying my fish and then we're going to be doing the final cooking I'm gonna start by frying. Make sure it's all fried on both sides. So we're just gonna continue frying our salmon. As you can see, the ones that I've fried before, you can see what they look like when they're done frying. And then we're going to be brown skin them. Isn't that gorgeous? It smells absolutely divine in here. You don't have to do this. This is just me being bored and passing time. And it makes you cook faster, in my opinion. But you could just leave it for like maybe four minutes on each side if your pot is really hot. I just keep checking it to see if it's, it needs turn it. Whenever you get the fried brownness that you like, then you turn it. If you want it crispy, you leave it a little bit longer. If you want it not so crispy, then, you know, you flip it faster than it would work. We could also let it cook darker than that, but I think that's good enough. We don't want to dry out our salmon because it's still going to be cooking, going through another cooking process. So we're not going to be um, over, over frying it. Now that our frying process is complete, as you can see, I finished frying all my salmon. We're going to be doing our gravy. The oil that we fry our salmon in, we're going to transfer it to this pot here, and then we're going to be cooking our vegetables. Just going to be pouring them in all at once. Okay. 
or garlic on our peppers or tomatoes, green peppers, red peppers, onions, thyme, hot peppers or scotch bonnet, whatever. We're just gonna be cooking down our vegetables. We're gonna cook it out the best we can because we want a nice gravy. So we're gonna continue cooking this until it's nice and tender and you will see the transformation. We're gonna be seasoning this also. Here we have all natural, all purpose seasoning. We have one teaspoon, which we're gonna pour in. And of course, my favorite seasoning salt, Larry's seasoned salt. We're gonna be adding about half a teaspoon about half a teaspoon paprika and about one tablespoon soy sauce. And we're just gonna be adding some lemon juice. Say about half a teaspoon. Here we go, about half a teaspoon lemon juice. And we're just going to be frying this down. Okay, we just want everything to cook now, guys, so not too much. Here we go. About, say, half a teaspoon. And this is what's going to give us our nice gravy. So we're going to cook this until it's nice and tender and then we're going to be adding about one cup of water and we're going to cook it some more until it starts to form a gravy then we're going to add our fish. You can tell at this point whether or not there's anything you need to add if you need to add more seasoning salt, if you need to add some more black pepper or paprika or whatever. This is the time to do that, right? Make a perfect gravy before you add your fish. This fish is already cooked and ready to eat. So we don't want to overcook our fish. So the main thing is to do your gravy completely before you add your fish. Because this is only going to be cooking for another three, four minutes once it's in, in the pot. Okay, so now that this is getting nice and tender, I think this is ready for some water. So we'll see how much water is needed. You can add about one to two cups. So this is one cup of water. See if this is enough. Okay, we want our vegetables to cook somewhere. So I think I'm gonna add another cup of water. So say two cups of water. There we go, two cups. I don't want to add too much water because we want a nice thick rich gravy so we're just gonna add like one teaspoon you see this is unsalted margarine basil just gonna add that to our, to our sauce okay without the vegetables this is what's going on all nice and rich it is already But we're not ready to add our fish because we do not want to, you know, get rid of all the nice nutrients in the fish. So we're not going to overcook it. Okay. So we're just going to cover this for about 10 minutes and we're just going to turn our stove down to medium heat and we're going to let this cook for 10 minutes and then we'll be adding our fish. So now we're going to be adding Aggie season up all purpose powder seasoning. So we're just gonna be adding the package to our sauce. Just for some nice added flavor. And now, see how nice and rich. Look at this gravy. And now we're gonna be putting our fish in. Now we're just gonna be lacing them in the gravy. Isn't that delicious looking? Mm, 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 mm. 
and let all of these can just bathe in all this nice gravy. I don't want to break my salmon because I want some nice pieces for plating. My brown steel salmon is complete. Thank you guys so much for tuning into Maze's Kitchen. I really, really, like I said before, appreciate the support and just sending again another shout out to Justin. We are praying for you, Justin. We hope you get well soon. And guys, I really would appreciate if you could check out his GoFundMe page and any little donation would be greatly appreciated. So thank you so much and I look forward to seeing you on my next video. Thanks for watching. God bless.